Aaron once again getting his paw on the basketball. See what you did there. <laughs> oh, what a rejection. Speaking of getting a paw on the basketball, Adij came over. And made threes like that. Titus Verhoeven, another 6'9 player for the Cats, getting set to check back in. That's a bucket that snaps a drought of nine straight missed field goals for Purdue a and &M. Got a couple of home games, giving his team a chance. Force a steal here, Adige has a step, and the hammer! Brooks Barnheiser back in for Northwestern, remains a one-point game after Roper couldn't knock down the free throw to Corey and Smith, a blaze in transition. You know, very physical, kind of Vinnie Johnson-like, and by the way, another transfer from Central Connecticut. They didn't have him in that Rice game. Here's a long three that goes around and down for Gambrell. Gambrell, heat check time. Or not 11-0, but he had scored the first 11 points. Excuse me. Boo Booey trying to stem the tide. He does just that. After the Wildcats got off to such a strong start on the glass. Drive from Berry. Kick out to Booey. A three. <laughs> As the court opens up a bit, this is the pace that Purdue A&M wants to play. Beautiful pass down low, and a finish from Braden Bell. Shot clock is off. Barron dumps it down low for Hooven. Open on the backside, though a block from Gambrell, who's about six foot three. What a rejection! Boo Booey at the controls to get us started here as the teams flip sides. Speaking of Robbie Barron, there he is once again, his fourth three of the game. Offensive rebound for Barry. Bowie tees it up. Nicholson trying to buckle down defensively for this Northwestern team that has played so well on this end through eight games this season. That's well short, but it fell right into the hands of Jeremiah Gambrell, kind of right into his breadbasket there. I don't fault him necessarily on that. The lob and the hammer from Nicholson. The drive, and the Panthers answer right back. Excellent dip into the lane there from Gambrell. By the way, Adij on the bench with three fouls for Northwestern. Something to keep an eye on. Another lob, back-to-back -back oops, back-to-back -back jams for Nicholson. Gambrell has three triples, looking for a fourth. Wow, what a shot from Jeremiah Gambrell. His handle is beautiful. Yeah, that rarely works where you're looking for the foul. You're thinking more about that than your actual shot. Another three goes down for Gambrell. Back-to-back -back triples. The height down low of Northwestern paying off defensively on this possession. Ultimately, Barron finally comes away with it. This is the tempo where Purview A&M has had success. Corian Smith finds a wide open man down low. Leads to two points for Miles. After those couple in this area, here's another quick drive to the rack, but a rejection down low from Adige initially, and a foul call. Many times they can. If they've got an opening, they've got to take it. That was their first field goal since the 15-minute mark. A three at the opposite end. Count that plus a foul. Adige looking for back-to-back -back buckets. There to clean it up is Barron. Teams in the same season for the first time in program history. Beat Washington State earlier this year. To Corian Smith, swatted out of the air by Barron. He's getting it done. Who we thought about it, kicks Adige a three. Big one. Sort of a throw up the shot. Chris Collins talked to us about getting quality looks, especially inside. There's a quality look for the Panthers to make it a two-point game. Northwestern has held five opponents this season as Audige tries a three. Bit strong. Offensive board from Barron. Audige right back at it to the rim this time. Northwestern looking for win number seven on the season. Go down low to Barron. Coughed it up. Audige was able to get it right back, though. It wasn't pretty. You're not going to remember this much, but they got the W. That's all that matters.